formed an education subcommittee and uh, we were trying to get permission to get a school. A family uh, uh, issue, My, uh, I had lost a son in a car accident. That was allowing me to make programs that people in Orlando would have to revolve around uh, themselves around. So then you uh, transitioned from being Tamuki to becoming the vice president, yes. And uh, another visionary we had was Mahmoud Hussein Yusuf Ali uh, from Dubai, who had moved here. And he was a chairman in Dubai, and uh, he also intended to serve the community well. And what year or time frame are we looking at? Uh, for about two or three years, uh, I was away from community. I was just a participant. But then there came a time when there was a need of a new constitution because we felt that now the constitution that we were currently having is outdated. Uh, I attended 32 of the 34 meetings of the constitution, uh, thankfully, and uh, when we finished finally the constitution and the elections took place, or the elections were supposed to take place, we said that since we gave so much time in making this constitution, it's going to be very unfair if we were the ones, there were seven or eight of us, and uh, Zuhair Ibrahim, uh, uh, Muhammad Dewji, these all pioneers in, instrumental in making the change in the constitution and making, uh, putting meetings together. We felt it would be very unfair that we put the changes that we felt is needed, but then we allow an, another person to implement those changes because uh, that would have been pretty unfair. So what we did, we said, since we have taken part in changing it, let us be the first ones to try and implement it, the changes that we've made. Are we ourselves, who have proposed these changes, able to stay and work on those changes? And that's the time we said, no, let's try it first. And we took up the leadership positions just so that we can work with the new constitution. Interesting. So you make a proposition as a community member. Uh, you come up with your ideas and what you think is important in the constitution. In the constitution. Right. And then in order to back what you think is important, right. you say, you know what, the only way to do this is if to we actually take up the challenge take ourselves. Take up the challenge and exactly. implement. Because it's not fair for us to have put a, included a clause in the constitution and then ask you to implement it. Because that clause may be just for my benefit, example. Right. And therefore we said, no, we have to take it up ourselves just to see that there may be other clauses while we are running the community. Right. Which we will then feel was obsolete. At the time we said it, the circumstances may have been different. And now that it is in implementation, maybe it has no need, it has no room in the Constitution. So as and when we will find that, we will keep on writing it down. And whoever then comes in, we will give them with our suggestions that listen, when we did our term, these clauses were helpful and these were obsolete. So, you know, you can now start calling another meeting and remove this because there was no need for it. So there is also not only an establishment of a new constitution and a new team, but also a refinement in the procedures. Yes. And a way to sort of look at, you know, what truly works and what doesn't. Exactly. And then you move. And, and you provide that information to the incoming new team because we knew that this community will always keep on getting new leaders. Right. Therefore, that in order for that continuity to remain, we wanted to set a legacy. And one of them was to try and work with the Mulana issues, and I guess it's working till today. Uh, before we left office, we had already secured five years of Mulana and Mulyani for Mahi Muharram, Mahi Ramadan, and Ashur uh, Zainabiyya. Uh, reason, we wanted any managing committee that comes in should not have the Muki or the director of operations at the time to start thinking about what to do with the upcoming Mahal. We wanted to secure those things beforehand so we knew that once we do it, whoever comes in next will start doing it so that then the committee, whoever walks in, will start working on other things which are needed in the community. So now you are the leader no, of the community. Leader of the community. You are in a very unique position. Yes. Uh, one that has not been filled by many. Uh, what do you think was your biggest challenge as a leader? 
the biggest challenge uh, was number one i was never or i never tried uh, as much as i may have wished to to satisfy everybody because that was not going to happen but the biggest challenge that i had was what was right for the community and how much justice can i do to that chair if anything was bothering me the most was that when i go to sleep at night whatever decisions may have been taken in a meeting at uh, at baraza level uh, with people i would go and ask my conscience at night and my lord ya allah i replied this and this is how i responded have i been fair i have never asked if i was right or wrong i have only asked have i been fair to the community with my decision or my thought process and wallah i have no i am no ayatullah i am no hujjatul islam i am nothing i am just a regular person who tries to fulfill his religious obligations to the best of my ability the answers did come the thoughts the, the questions that i asked the answers were forthcoming and whenever they they have been more wrong than right and i have gone to change them back to to make it right because you know the answers were forthcoming the reason and i firmly believe that then i firmly believe it now and i will continue believing in it and i tell the youngsters as well if your thought process is not to gain fame if your thought process is to serve a community if your thought process is to make sure that you are doing nothing but for the pleasure of allah you will always come out a winner regardless of the trials and tribulations that you go through that is a part of being an executive there were certain executive decisions that needed to be made so they were made however i have never regretted making any of those decisions because there was never ever a personal gain a thought that ever crossed my mind that was your biggest challenge and uh, what was your biggest achievement as as a leader the biggest achievement uh, as a leader if you ask me today was that uh, after me there have been two other working class uh, members of the community who have come and led the community i was trying to remove that uh, stigma that it's only for the wealthy that the community can only be run by a businessman or somebody who is well i wanted to instill in the community that if you want to serve you do not have to be a multi millionaire you just have to have the conscience that you want to serve a community and 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 god will make the pave the way for you